Yo, it's your boy June 88, bringing the good, bad, and the oh so ugly. And why am I doing my hat like this? Let's get into today's video, shall we? Yeah. Dating in this day and age is hard. Like, I think dating is harder, harder than it's ever been because of online dating and just people don't know how to talk to people. The whole social media thing, not even online dating, not even like the tenders and the, all that other stuff, sliding DMs. I just think it got to the point where people don't know how to interact with people when they date. So when you're going on these dates, you're acting all weird because you've been texting. And like, it's, 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 it's one of the things where I learned where a lot of people, their text game is strong, but... And a phone game is strong, but when they in public, they don't know how to freaking talk to each other. You know, that's another little deal breaker in this game. And another thing is like, I think a lot of people aren't upfront with what they want when they talk when they start talking to certain people. It's like, yo, a lot of people don't up like, yo, they don't say, yo, I'm looking for a relationship. You know, because a lot of women, you talk to them, they tell you up front, like, yo. I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that, I'm looking, they, they hit you with that M word, they see, hit you with, they see marriage in their future, and if you ain't trying to do that, they don't want you, and dudes, you start throwing that M word around, they start ducking it like child support payments, like, nope, nope, mm-mm, mm-mm, dudes don't, some dudes don't try, you know what I mean, or some, or some girls on that Drake, show me a good time, they just want to have a good time, you know, if you want to get the hook, if you're trying to get the uh, the lightweight hookup, the heavyweight hook, all that stuff. And I just, I think that what makes their dating game a little better if you just be upfront with what you're trying to do, and then end up you don't be, you end up you don't end up in that in that uh, end up getting your feelings hurt or in that dangerous friend zone, fellas. This is where, this is how. I think you can save yourself from getting friend zoned. If you just, like I just said about the women, if you tell a girl, yo, I'm looking for a relationship. I'm not trying to be, your I'm not really looking for, a fr I'm looking for friendship, but I'm really more looking uh, looking forward to the dating portion of this because I'm attracted to you. I like you. I, I really want to date you, you know, really date you, you know, put that out there. Now, she knows what you want, so she like, she can either, bow bow gracefully or see where it goes you know what i mean because you don't want to get in that friend zone because you'll never get out now you want a friend zone with a girl you like and next thing you know you end up hating this chick and you don't want to do that but i think a lot of people just it's just real difficult man it's like i look at it like this i've seen people in and out of relationships you know, I've seen people get married, divorce, break up, make up, separate, get back together. I've seen a lot. Facebook lets you see a lot. I've seen people that were dating for years. Like you thought, like this didn't even get then they get married. And yo, this is gonna last forever. <laughs> Split. It's like, damn. Y'all dated longer than y'all was married. You know what I mean? It's like, it sucks. It sucks because Facebook tells you a lot, that you see a lot of things, and um, it, it, it's one of the things where they like. Then they ask me, Junie, why why are you single? Like you're a good dude. Any girl should would be lucky to have you. Like yeah, but I'm more picky with my feelings. I'm more picky. Like yo, I don't want you wasting my time. I don't want to waste your time. I know what I'm trying to do, and if you you know what I mean, like I'm looking forward to kind of relationship that gels together well. Like yo, it it, it works. You know what I mean? It works. Not something I just don't want to just get in a relationship just to say I'm in one, just so I can say I got somebody. You know what I mean? I think that's corny because I know a lot of people that get in a relationship just to be in them. They don't even know who they are, but they're trying to be something to somebody else. You know what I mean? It's like it's like um, it's like uh, what's that? It's like the intro to that um, I forget what uh, album it is. Pusha T has the dude said, I'm trying to be three people at a time, one for you, one for me, and one for them. Like, you can't be all that. You're trying to be all these people. But 
I, I'm getting off the sidebar, but it, but it's in common. Like you really trying to give it, you know, trying to be all this to one person, but you not, you don't even know who you are yourself. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to get at. Like you don't even know yourself, but trying to be that person for that person. You trying to be yourself and somebody for that person. You're like, Arr! you know, like you you end up going crazy, and, and the relationship doesn't work. Because you don't know shit about them, and they don't know shit about you. You got these two people that don't know shit about shit. If that makes sense. But um, that's 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 why I'm so picky about my my. Then again, you don't want to give your odds to a person, and somewhere down the line, you figure out this ain't what you want. Now you sitting there heartbroken and just crying, and just crying and just crying. You know what I mean? It's like man, you didn't waste your time with this person. That's one thing I always say. Don't waste nobody's time. Don't waste my time. I'm not going to waste your time. You know, that's a lot of things a lot of people be doing in the, in these dating streets. And then I really do think, like, apps like Tinder really ruined it. Really, really ruined it because I feel like you can be, if you want to, like I say, there's people out there that's down to do whatever you want to do. If you just want to do the lightweight, if you just want to do the smash, you got you can find somebody for that. Like yo, I just I ain't looking for a relationship. Um, I just I'm just trying to smash, and we like we smashing, and that's it. There's people, there's people out there that's that's down with it. But then you got the people that's like, the girls is like, yo, I'm not into that. I'm trying to get a relationship. And if you're not trying to do that, you can go, yo, and cool. I'm looking for this. That's what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like, I'm more like be up front. That's where I'm at in life. Like, I'm, that's, what, that's what I've learned in my, in my singleness. Like, yo, let me just be more up front. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what uh, what they say. Honesty is the best policy, whatever the saying is. And that's that's how I look at it, you know. I mean, like they, like I, like I say, Tinder has ruined it, cause you don't know. In DMs, sliding in DMs, like good lord, I can't even, I can't even remember the last time I slid in the girls' DMs. I don't even do that no more. I'm, I am so old school. Like I like going out. I mean, ain't nobody really going. I mean, people are just now going out now, but it's like. Meeting a girl, you be at the mall, or you be at Barnes and Nobles, you be walking out of Starbucks, you meet a chick, or, hey, how you doing, what you reading, yada, yada, y'all chop it up, exchange numbers, and you going about your day, and next thing you know, you're having a good conversation, either a good uh, a relationship blossoms out of, or a good friendship blossoms out of, you never know, but it's like, I think the whole dating site thing, has ruined it because I don't do data sites. You know what I mean? I don't do that. I'm, I know people that do it and it's, and it's worked for them. And I had people told tell me to try it. I looked into it. It wasn't that dope. I'm like, I don't know what y'all like. What is this? Like, what are y'all doing? You know, you know, like, what is this? You know, research, like, hmm, nah, this ain't for me. You know what I mean? You know, but it's like, nah. I mean, like, it's, it, that's just how I feel about it. Dating in this era is it's tough. You know what I mean? My boy told me that he met a girl on Tinder, and it was like, the girl was, like, awkward. You know, she hadn't had a boyfriend in a long time. She was just getting back in the dating scene, and then yada, yada, yada. He said, man, the girl was super awkward. She was, she, like, she was cool, but she was, like, super awkward. Nothing really came out of him. Like, hmm. Tinder. That's why. I feel like stuff like this is like is like the luck of the draw. Like you either get really, 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 really lucky or you <whistles> doesn't even work. You know. Yeah. It ain't for everybody, you know. But in the comments, how do you feel about dating in, in this in this era? Do you think it's easy? Do you think it's hard? Do you it is what it is? Are you old school? Do you like to just go out if you see somebody? You walk up, the fellas, you see a girl, you approach them because you know girls ain't girls ain't approaching dudes like that. Like that's another thing. I'm always on edge when a girl approaches me. Like I'm like, 
that 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 sh don't happen often. You know what I'm saying? That don't happen a lot. So when it happened, I'm like, oh, I must be shoes. You know, you know. Or I'm like, yo, where, where the hidden cameras at? Where the camera? Where, where the cameras at? Well, this a prank show. This a prank you trying to you trying to get me. You just maybe think it's cool. Then next day, you know, like, that doesn't. I'm always on the edge. You know, no, no. Like, I'm more like you, you know. And then again, last time I get about it, I think it's like for some cats when it's for the fellas. I can't speak for women, but fellas, we don't. A lot of fellas don't know how to approach women. You know what I mean? Because some dudes are just shy, awkward, yada yada yada. And a lot of chicks ain't welcoming. You, I've heard horror stories of dudes getting shut down in ways of like, it's like you crashing and burning, like you just, you ain't got you, and it, it's like it sucks, especially if you buy. It don't hurt as much if you buy yourself, cause don't nobody know you, and it ain't that bad. But if you with your friends, they gonna make it worse. But they gonna like, ah man, it's alright man. But we gonna make fun of you. Especially back in the day. Back when you were in high school, you see your boy crashing and burning. He looking at you, and you trying to get yourself together, trying to figure out where to go. And, like, you just, but uh, it's terrifying. But, yeah, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about dating in this day and age. You think, like I said, you think it's easy, you think it's hard, or you just, you just, it is what it is. And i see you Monday. Like I say, make sure you cop some merch. An album. Album is coming out. I would say fairly soon. I'm putting the finishing touches on it. I'll be releasing the date soon. So stream all my music on Spotify, Apple Music, and yeah, cop some 88th Avenue merch. All right, do that for me. All right, and I'm out. Peace. See you Monday. <laughs>